Good morning, everyone. My name is Detective Amy Spence, and I'm with the Calgary Police Service Child Abuse Unit. Today, we are sharing with you that a man has been arrested and charged in relation to the sexual exploitation, sexual assault, and trafficking of two female minors. During the course of a lengthy human trafficking investigation, we learned that two girls aged 15 and 13 were believed to have been victimized by the same man. We believe the man had set up online advertisements and encounters for each victim with other men where they were expected to perform sexual acts in exchange for money, drugs, and alcohol. The man arranged transportation for the victims to and from each of their prearranged encounters and would keep the majority of the funds that he received for the sexual services to himself. Police also learned that the man himself engaged in sexual activity with both of the victims. The legal age of consent in Canada is 16 and therefore neither of the victims could legally consent. Each of the victims is now safe and being offered the support and resources that they need. On Thursday, March 18th, 2021, police arrested and charged Ahmed Hassan Duwali, 33 years of age, with the following offenses. Two counts of sexual assault, two counts of obtaining sexual services for consideration from a person under the age of 18, one count of material benefit of trafficking a person under the age of 18, one count of sexual interference with a child under 16 years of age, one count of trafficking in persons under 18, and three counts of failing to comply with an undertaking. Duali will next appear in court on Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. I'm asking anyone with information that could aid in this investigation to please contact myself at 403-428 five four five seven the calgary police service encourages anyone who believes they are victim of a sexual assault to report it to police victims of sexual assault can report to police by calling 403-266-1234 or 911 if they are in immediate danger there is no time limit on how long a victim has to report a sexual assault in canada we would like to thank our community partner agencies who work with us to offer services and support to survivors of sexual abuse, including the Calgary and Area Child Advocacy Centre, Hull Services, McMahon Youth Family and Community Services, and Not In My City. I will now take your questions. Thank you, Detective Spence. So I see we've got a question from Global News. Please go ahead. Hi there. I'm um, just wondering if there's any additional victims uh, that you believe uh, have been impacted uh, by the suspect. And also, how did this investigation first get underway? I'll answer your uh, first question. First, I do believe that there are people out there in the community that have more information in relation to this investigation, and I do encourage them to come forward. Can you just repeat your second question for me, please? How did the first uh, the investigation first get underway? How did the suspect um, come to your guys' attention? Uh, as part of an existing ongoing investigation, um, the victims came forward with information in relation to this investigation. Thank you. Okay, we have a question from Bill Kaufman at Post Media. Go ahead. Oh, Bill, I think you're okay. on. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, Detective, I'm just wondering um, how prevalent is this, how, how prevalent do you suspect uh, this kind of activity is in our city? I do believe it's hard to, to pinpoint a s exact statistic because I do believe there's a lot of victims out there that we don't know about. Um, I 
I do think that more victims with the support that they're receiving, um, not just by the police, but also with the community supports, are feeling a lot more comfortable coming forward. But this is a very real issue um, in the city of Calgary and within Canada. Thanks. Question from Jordan K. Uh, I believe you're a CTV, if you want to go ahead. Oh, hi there. I'm sorry. Uh, this was more for just the chat, just asking um, if, if there was anybody. I understand that this is this is for the human trafficking investigation, but I was just wondering if there was anyone part of this live stream who's able to answer questions about the hate crime investigation from last night as well. Sorry oh, for I the see. confusion there. No, that's okay. Um, this particular live stream is just for the human trafficking uh, charges and the release that we sent out this morning, but please give the media line a shout if you've got some questions about hate crimes as, as well. Uh, Bill Kaufman, do you have another question? Please go ahead. Sure. Hey, Detective, um, how, how in this case did these um, young girls, how were how they recruited? Um, I'll talk more in generalities, um, just because how they were specifically recruited is part of the ongoing investigation, and I can't disclose those specifics. But what we are seeing um, on a more regular basis is over social media. So there's a variety of social media applications where um, these offenders are targeting young females, uh, specifically males are also being targeted as well. And it's important to mention that um, they're befri befriending them online uh, and then arranging times to meet up with them in the community. Does anybody else have any questions? No? Okay, well, thank you everybody for joining us today.